Hi everyone, I'm Anastasia and this is Anastasia's Hump Day Happenings. February is Children's Dental Health Month. How often do I really need to brush my child's teeth and how do I know what toothbrush to even get them? So number one, the American Dental Association recommends that you brush your teeth, child's teeth, two times a day at two minutes each time. Two minutes in the morning, two minutes in the evening. Now the second question, when do you start? You start as soon as you bring your bundle of joy home with a warm washcloth and just go along the bottom gum line and then the top gum line. Why? Bacteria does not rest. So you get your first tooth erupting from the gum line and then what? That's when you go and you start to select a soft bristle toothbrush. There's many out there, just make sure they're soft bristled. Now, Crest and Oral-B, they have stages, so I'm just gonna go through that one with you. Um, they're marked on the box, two months to 24 months, then two years to four years, and five years to seven years. You wanna make sure that the toothbrush head, it, it goes along in alignment with your child's growth of their jaw, so is it narrow or is it wide? Now here's what the other cool thing is. There's a Disney Magic Timer with their two year to seven year toothbrushes. And that's so cool because it makes two minutes go by like that, which is the poorest human finger snap ever. But you get the point because it's so much better than the hourglass of sand that we had or the egg timer. Does anybody remember that back in the day? That felt like forever, forever. But this way they get to enjoy. And there's lots of other apps out there. So parents, please make this available time for you and your kids. Grandparents, siblings, extended families, it's very important. Twice a day, two minutes a time. Use an app to make it fun. Now you might think, we're exhausted. We're exhausted, one time a day is good enough. Mm. Recent study, did you happen to know that a child who brushes only one time a day is at an increased risk of 64% for getting tooth decay, 64%. Please make time for that extra two minutes for a preventable disease that is an epidemic here in the United States. I believe in you, and I believe you can make the healthy choice for them. Now, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you here every single week. Otherwise, ask me a question, hashtag Ask Anastasia. And until next Wednesday, take what you learn and make a difference with it.